Hi, I'm Gretchen Castle, General Secretary of Friends World Committee for Consultation. Our Quakerism and our spiritual convictions cause us to think deeply about the issue of sustaining life on earth and caring for our gifts of creation and preserving life that is both joyful and just. As friends, we recognized the need to respond to sustaining life on earth for our children and grandchildren. In 2016, at our last world gathering in Peru, we generated the PSEC Sustainability Minute, which has led to exploring the work Quakers are doing on sustainability across the world, asking friends and yearly meetings to take action to promote sustainability at all levels, locally and globally. Following the world gathering in Peru, Friends World Committee for Consultation, or FWCC, was asked to bring friends together in between our world gatherings in order to maintain connection and community. The FWCC World Office wanted to bring friends together in a way that recognized the environmental and economic cost of physically gathering together as a world body of friends. In late February 2020, we organized our first global online sustainability conference to gather our collective Quaker voice on sustainability. We were joined by friends from all across the four FWCC sections and from all traditions, programmed and unprogrammed, liberal and evangelical. We heard from five speakers who represented elements of our Quaker diversity, from the four FWCC sections, and from the Quaker United Nations office. After reflecting on the words of the speakers, friends from all walks of our Quaker faith joined together in a period of online collective worship to gather the global Quaker voice on sustainability. How is the spirit moving amongst us? What's God calling us to do? What's the future for friends? What do friends have to share with the world? What is it that we're clear about? And how do we as friends move forward? How can Friends World Committee support friends? How do we change the narrative and the way we live? And how do we engage with others and build a movement to change the world? For me, um, it is those spiritual experiences where we feel an affinity with the earth, uh, that where we feel for the sanctity of the earth, that I think as a Quaker community, we can offer to the wider world. So I would encourage us to tell the stories where we are able to relate to the earth in a way that changes our behavior towards it. I think that's really important. In the first book of the Bible, it tells of the story of God's creation. And interestingly, it tells of God's act of planting a garden and putting humanity in it. In this story, we can see God providing sustainability for humanity and for His creation. We can learn from His words that we are meant to be stewards of God's beautiful creation. God planting a garden and putting humanity in it and telling Adam and Eve to tend it and care for it is representative of us as well. Needing to care and nourish our environment and the creation that we now enjoy. I think uh, one of the ways that I'm asking friends around the world to address this uh, opportunity and this huge challenge is that we look at how each of us have guilt and how each of us deal with worry. And that if the guilt inspires us to speak, then we are on the path of God. If the worry leads us into action, 
outside of the walls of our meeting houses and churches, then we are answering to that of God in everyone. And I find that many of us are paralyzed. And I want our faith and our listening to God's voice to move us further along the path and not stay wallowing in our comforts or um, feeling that we are uh, uh, persecutors and therefore can't take action around this opportunity. Sustainability, therefore, as quick as means that we embody a spirituality of creation and accept that all that has been given to us through creation, including our relationships, they are sacred. And if they are sacred, then we accept that we challenge those issues that destroy these relationships, especially those that we've named above, aspects of race, aspects of ethnicity or tribalism, aspects of sexism or classism, all that destroy life are things that as Quakers we need to challenge because of our teachings of peace and our teachings on social justice. As Quakers, we have a strong history of fighting against injustice and we must continue these fights. It will be hard, but it is necessary and we can't ignore it. We must take leadership and live out our faith in the world in the hopes that others will follow us. We must act as patterns and examples, not just in sustainably living, but also as examples of standing up for injustice, giving a voice to those without power, raising young people who seek the truth and who are willing to stand up for what is right. What patterns and examples can we be? During the conference, a group of elders were listening to the spoken ministry. After the conference, they wrote a reflective statement. It is our hope that it will lead to continuing dialogue and engagement with sustainability concerns and enable us as friends to know how to build a more sustainable future. As the reflective statement says, we must continue now to make a space available for more regular exchange and for sharing experiences, tools, skills, and resources. So friends, share this statement with your communities. Ask and explore how you feel called to ask to build a more sustainable future for all, economically, politically, and of course, through personal lifestyle. So let us hear from you. Let us build this movement together.